Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today I'm in the backyard enjoying some nice weather as one should do when the weather permits. But anyway, I wanted to take this time to make a video about the DJI Phantom 4 Pro V2 and the best controller settings to smooth out and stabilize the drone in flight instead of making those jerky and twitchy movements. So without any further ado, let's get into it. High five. Fly it out a little bit further here. All right, jumping right into the settings here. We're gonna go into general settings. We're gonna tap on the main controller settings icon there, which is the drone or the drone lookalike icon. And we're gonna tap into the advanced features. And the advanced features, we're gonna be dealing with expo, sensitivity, and gain. We'll start with expo first. This is the controls that you will be able to manipulate. You can either tap on the screen here to insert your values and press return or you can press your finger and slide on the graph itself and I prefer the throttle to stay as it is which is at 50 or 0.50 and you'll press return to save the settings if you don't press return it'll default back to its original settings so rudder I like to keep it around 30 and again, this is in P mode, or this is in GPS mode, which is on P for the selector switch there. And for backwards and left and right, I like to keep it on 30 as well. And what this does is this smooths out on the controller sticks. This smooths out your movements. So as you can see, if you just slowly start pressing, it'll slowly move until you get further over and same with the yaw. So this helps with your camera control as you're trying to do those smooth, easy pans. It's best to just leave everything nice, slow, and smooth and stable, and leave little to no work for the gimbal to do. So the gimbal is just gonna wanna track where it's staying instead of you know using these harsh movements where you see the gimbal right there. The gimbal is trying to work hard. So we're gonna exit out of the EXP. That's the settings I like to keep. Again, we're in P mode. And for the sensitivity, we're gonna go to an attitude of 75. So this is how aggressive the forward and back movements can be. As you can see, it's pretty dumbed down. As you can see, the stop is not as aggressive, say if it were to stop at 130. See, this is a value of 130, and I like to keep it about 90. So we'll go to 90. There you go. Now for yaw movement, I keep it around 175, because yaw movement is one of the things I like to keep fast, just in case, you know, we're going a little too hot into a clip. You, know, you want to be able to kind of speed up the yaw. As you can see, I, I got the controls pretty dumbed down here, and this is all for cinematic flying. This is all for stable, smooth, nice, easy reveals up and over the fence, up and over the tree, up and over a mountain range, just nice and smooth. So that's sensitivity, and now we're gonna go into gain. Now gain is something that typically isn't messed with. I don't usually change much gain, pitch, roll, or yaw. I usually like to keep those pretty stock out of the gate, but right now my pitch is set to 100%, my roll is set to 110%, 
yaw is set to 80% and my vertical is set to 100%. And that's almost factory default settings. So not much messed with there. So. So not much to do with with the gain. But as you can see it's nice and smooth and stable, really controllable. Get down and low in the weeds. Have some fun with it. Some nice slow pans and just overall have fun. But anyway, how about those quiet blades? I like that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the low noise props. I want to know if you think they are better or worse than the standard Phantom 4 Pro. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I really appreciate your support.